What's up everyone? My name is Adityo and welcome to HD Tech. Well guys, tomorrow on 7th of June, Apple is going to be conducting their WWDC event and we all know that in this particular event, you will see all of the latest software updates but there are very high chances of a new hardware. But in this particular video, I want to aware you because see, after this particular event, Apple will roll out the developer beta of the iOS 15. And after the event, we all will get very much excited to install this particular OS as early as possible. And guys, let me tell you that after the launch itself, on 7th of June itself, Apple will roll out the developer betas. Well, for all of those people who don't know, first of all, they launch their developer beta series. After that, they launch the public beta version. And after that, you will get the global version. And guys, trust me, the final global version of the iOS 15 will come around the iPhone 13's launch. So overall, you know, if you're waiting for the global version of this particular OS, then you have to wait for the next four months. So to all of those people who are unfamiliar with the developer beta, let me tell you. Well, this developer beta of any software is the initial stage code. So basically, this particular OS is made for all of the developers. Let that be applications like Spotify, YouTube or all other applications which run on the operating system. So because of this kind of developer beta, all of the software companies can get a clear idea about the upcoming OS. So you know all of the applications including YouTube, Instagram, Spotify and all of them can prepare their software on the basis of the newer software. So that's the reason, you know, Apple conducts their WWDC in which they present all of the softwares. So this particular show is mainly for the developers, but we as consumers get very much excited. And after four to six weeks from the event itself, you will see the public beta. So after one to one and a half months later, you will see the public version of the iOS 15. Well guys see, it is pretty much simple that please don't at all take the risk to download the developer beta. Suppose if you are having a secondary iPhone or if you are having your iPhone as a secondary smartphone then you can take the risk but up to a certain extent. I will strictly recommend you that okay we all agree that we all are excited for the new features and we also want to have that latest experience but this particular update can actually damage your phone. And now many people will get curious that what is the extreme example of a software problem. Well, let me tell you, first of all, as it is a raw software, it will put lot of you know burden on your processor because the entire OS is not at all optimized. So the entire processor will get lot of workload and hence it will take lot of battery life. And that's the reason, you know, if your battery will get so much problem, then literally within one week or two, you will have literally five to 10% battery drop. Well guys, I know few people who last year updated from their iOS 13 to the iOS 14. And as a result, they had a 10% battery health drop. Well, we all know that this particular battery health is a hardware related thing. But see guys, as the software is not at all optimized, hence it is taking lot of battery backup. So with the help of this video, I just want to say that we all are having this curiosity to try the new OS. But trust me guys, don't at all take this risk until and unless you are having a backup phone. And guys see, tomorrow we are going to be very much excited to see the newer OS. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be coming up with amazing videos. And guys, please share this particular video with as many iPhone users as possible because majority amount of people are having no idea. So if they will see any software update on any particular website, then they will download that profile and later on they will install it. So be clever and until the public beta is finally released, I will not at all recommend you to install this particular OS. Well, yes, personally, I will install it on my secondary phone and let's see what is the overall response. And guys, let's see what Apple has installed for us in the iOS 15. Well guys, thanks a lot for watching this video and I will meet you with another beautiful video. Until then, peace.